since I uploaded my first GPR video, many of you were asking that which GPR system you should buy and why. Okay, so in this video, I will be discussing which GPR system you should purchase for your uh, needs or according to your needs and uh, what is the brand uh, brand name you should go for what what uh, should be the price of that system or entire system and which are the components you should buy okay so the discussion or in this video will be done totally based on my experience and expertise on GPR so I have worked almost six years uh, on GPR system and I worked uh, let, let me tell you. so the basics if you don't know about the GPR check out my previous videos okay the, the link will be in the description so let's start so GPR uh, has several applications GPR has huge range of applications you already know so let's discuss which type of antenna you should purchase I have already discussed this in my previous videos check out that video videos okay so uh, let's discuss let's uh, let me recap that part that for the geological purpose we generally use 10 megas in, in, in my last video I, I have already discussed why I am using this range of frequency so we generally use 10 megahertz to 400 megahertz maximum or 500 megahertz okay for the civil engineering purpose for concrete evaluation and all this kind of structure or or void or uh, space estimation or the river counting for this purpose we generally use a high resolution uh, system in the gigahertz range mainly uh, we use uh, 900 megahertz mostly we use in the gigahertz range so up to 2.6 gigahertz okay for the utility purpose we may use uh, antennas like 270 megahertz 200 megahertz uh, like 400 megahertz now you have to select you have to choose who is what is your purpose for the military uh, application there are special type of uh, equipment which basically uses very high frequency in the gigahertz range okay so now you have to choose for which purpose you want to buy in this video i'll be mainly discussing the geological part okay because I involve my, uh, myself or I indulge myself in the geological exploration. So for the geological prospecting, we'll be purchasing a system within 10 megahertz to 400 megahertz antenna. Okay. So let's, you know that the GPR has three component, control unit and uh, transmitter and receiver. So I'm talking about the GPR antennas with the center frequency 10 megahertz to 400 megahertz. Okay. Now. Uh, so uh, this is the list I've already uh, discussed in the previous video so if you are not if you haven't seen that video so I will suggest you to uh, watch that full video okay I have discussed the basics of GPR there okay so what are the manufacturers and what are the supplier of GPR few of the manufacturers I know few of the manu uh, system GPR system pro provided by few manufacturers company I have worked with so first one is the GSSI, GSSI is a leading brand, okay. Uh, second, you can purchase Mala GPR, I have heard this is one, this one is a good one, okay. Uh, then IDS Georadar is there, Airborne GPR system is also there and there, uh, nowadays I'm in the social media, I'm hearing a, a lot about this GPR, that is the Tox GPR. I never used it, okay. But I'm hearing several news that it's a good one, okay. Now let me tell you which one is my favorite one. So uh, this is not a paid promotion. First of you, uh, you should understand this is not a paid promotion. I'm totally talking from my experience. And my favorite GPR system, if you uh, want to consider, that is the GSSI. I have used several uh, GPR systems, okay, two or three uh, different types, but I'm not going to name them. But I, what I prefer, that is GSSI. So GSSI is one of the leading brand, one of the, you can see the first brand to man, make GPR, okay. And uh, I have used, let me tell you what type of control unit I have used. The specification is SIR 3000 I have used, okay. SIR means surface interface rudder, okay. That's my control unit. And I have used 15 to 80 megahertz MLF antenna. What is the MLF antenna? I've already discussed in my previous videos multi low frequency antennas these are the bi-static system and i will use a monostatic antenna of 200 megahertz okay so this was the whole uh, arsenal of gpr okay and it was enough for geophysical exploration 
I'll say for shallow subsurface estimation it was enough. Okay, so if you need any deeper investigation, 15 megahertz can give you up to let's say 30 to 35 meter uh, high resolution image, depending on the site and all. You know that, right? So my favorite one is the GSSI, and it's not a pre formation, so you can uh, blindly purchase GSSI. It's a good one. So then, what will be the cost here, and what are the components you should buy? Uh, what are the specific components you should ask for from your vendors so uh, so nowadays you will be having instead of SIR 3000 you will be having SIR 4000 okay so the advantage of SIR 4000 is that it has a wireless system in case of SIR 3000 you should you have to use a control cable the cable connecting uh, uh, this is a cable which is connecting the this is suppose this is the control unit okay and a cable is connecting with the antenna okay transmitter or receiver or in case of monostating antenna so this cable is called it's a 15 meter cable most of the cases this 15 meter cable is called it's a coaxial 15 meter cable and it's called the control cable so in this case if for SIR 3000 you have to connect this via control cable but in case of uh, SIR 4000 there are several uh, means SIR 4000 is a advanced version of that that previous one and they have included several interesting features among of which you will have the wireless connectivity okay so in the SIR 4000 will be having the wireless connectivity what are the specifications these are the uh, specifications several things are there so you may pause the screen and you can um, read it and uh, I'll suggest to go to the website to I'll suggest you to go to the website to understand this better so I'll be linking or I'll be uh, keeping the website uh, in the description I'll be writing the website in the description so go there and you'll understand so here the battery uh, can give you is a lithium ion battery okay see and this battery can give you a three hours runtime USB host is also available there so uh, what type of system you should buy first one is the and what will be the prices what will be the uh, price okay so first one you will be considering at this point that you will be considering you will be purchasing a SIR 4000 control unit just like any DSLR cam camera you are using the camera okay camera body okay and you are uh, purchasing the lens separately so consider the camera body here is the control unit and the antennas are the lenses depending on your requirement okay so then if if you purchase a tpf system i'll suggest you in your arsenal in your uh, in your storage you keep all these type of antennas among which you will be purchasing the sir 4000 control unit nowadays you will be purchasing 15 to 80 megahertz mmlf antenna and you should purchase a 200 megahertz antenna sometimes people don't go for the 200 megahertz antenna there is a huge application with 200 megahertz internet it might give you uh, the depth up to 7 meter let's say the favorable side condition is giving you 7 meter depth so you need to purchase a 200 megahertz antenna because it will help you a lot during the field work why and why you should purchase and how it will help that will be discussed in a separate video i want to keep this video as simple as purchase a 40 meter cmp cable okay and data 7 processing software comes with that and if you purchase all these three uh, all these main components i didn't discuss the control cable i didn't discuss the other optical uh, cable so uh, those are also included consider this i'm discussing the important key points okay so you'll be going for si 4000 then 15 to 80 megahertz mlf then 200 megahertz antenna then 40 meter cmp cable then data 7 processing software and all of these as a whole including other components okay will be cost you around 75 lakh in indian rupees okay so around 75 lakh indian rupees uh it would be the price for this including tax and all but i'm not sure about this this is the latest information i have but this is the these estimates are based on my latest info and i do not take any kind of responsibility so you better get contact or you better contact a real agent uh, a real local agent uh, who can provide you the system and not me 
and other system I didn't want to discuss because uh, I prefer GSSI and that's why I've discussed this this is not a paid promotion if you feel there are other systems there are other good GPU systems available nowadays I'll suggest you to um, uh, write that name in the comment box and I'll do a proper research and I will upload that video about that system thank you